Cancers, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Um, all the decks have been pre-shuffled, so let's get straight into it. What's coming up for Cancer in the area of personal development? We've got the Seven of Wands. What's coming up for Cancer? Nine of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the World card. All right. Let's see. Let's see what comes up for you in the... In the Shadows Oracle, what comes up for Cancer? In the Shadows Oracle. I scared myself that day. I do wish you well. And I'm waiting for an apology. Hmm. Similar to Gemini, huh, Cancer? Okay. Let's put this aside. What about in your home life? What's coming up for Cancer in their home life? Ooh, Five of Swords, Magician, not great. And the Hanged Man, ooh, all right. Let's see what the Hidden Truth has for you. What's coming up, or what's the message for Cancer in their fourth house? Ooh. I feel so drawn to you. Do I still have a chance? And I am in a committed relationship. Okay. All right. Let's look at your relationship sector. It's coming up for cancer in their relationship sector. We've got the King of Pentacles. We've got the Two of Swords, the Knight of Cups, but this is the back. No, it's not. It's the, okay. It's the front of the King of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Four of Wands. All right. Let's see what's coming up with the Hidden Truth Oracle. Message for Cancer, the Hidden Truth Oracle, and the Seventh House. I am not available. This one, this one, I left when I saw you with someone. I feel you leaving me behind. And I left you before you could leave me. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Now let's see your 10th house. Or in the area of your public self. We've got the magician. Nine of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oracle messages in the public area of Cancer's home. We've got train. Exercise daily to keep your body and spirit strong, healthy, and full of the energy you need to build your business. Profit, welcome abundance into your life, create a strong relationship with money, rejoice in the opportunities and experiences it brings. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got diversify, build the no like trust factor with your audience, be ubiquitous in your niche by sharing your content on diverse platforms. Okay. Okie dokie. So cancer, this is what we got for you. So let's get straight into your reading. Hold on. Okay. Let's get into your reading. All right. So, 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 so. Very interesting here. Um, we're starting off with the world card for you. You're leveling up in some way. The world card is Saturn energy. So you may have had some pressure applied to you. You may feel like you are being held responsible or being called to task. Or you may be doing this to other people. You may be holding other people responsible. Um because we do have waiting, I'm waiting for an apology. So on one hand, you could have done something that is bothering your conscience, it's bothering your, your peace. And you are saying, you know what, I'm done fighting this, I'm going to hold myself accountable. World card. Or two, I honestly think if you did do some, somebody wrong with I do wish you well, I don't think that this person hates you even though it's it's bothering you and i think that when you 
when you make this right in whatever way you need to make it right, it's going to feel like a weight has been lifted off of you. You're going to feel proud of yourself. It's going to be a lot better. And if it's vice versa and somebody offers you an apology, just know it took a lot. The world card is Saturn energy. It is, um, it's pressure. Somebody here was getting pressured. Look at the way these swords are like, um, like they are heading straight down into this person. Their mind was attacking itself until they, they did whatever it is they needed to do to get this weight off of them. Now, somebody here might have done something. I scared myself that day. They might have done something that they never thought they would do. And that's why it's taken so long for them to apologize because it's almost like they didn't even recognize themselves as they acted. And so now they're, they're wanting to apologize because there's embarrassment, there's shame, but they're, they're trying to move past that. This is, if you watch today's collective, if you have not watched today's collective, I hope you sign up because today's collective was all about this. All right, let's move on to your, to your home sector. Interestingly enough, uh, there is this conversation here. You could be in a committed relationship and somebody could be coming to you saying, I feel so drawn to you. Can we still work this out? And you will be like, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm in a committed relationship. For others of you, you you may be the one going towards someone else and they will be the ones telling you that. Either way, with the hanged man, someone's putting themselves out there. Someone is putting themselves out there. They may face some rejection, but I feel like this is necessary. Saturn is here. Whether it's you or somebody coming towards you, this is a necessary part of growth. I don't know what this means, but it's going to help somebody here evolve. Okay? Now, um, for others of you, somebody is in a committed relationship and they could be coming towards you and you could be the one saying, uh, no, sir, ma'am, you're in a relationship. Let's not do that. Um, in your seventh house, for those of you who are already in a relationship, I'm seeing a lot of um, stability, a lot of um, commitment. Okay, I have to say this just because some of you Cancerians are the ones that are in a relationship and you may be indecisive because maybe in a relationship there's commitment, there's stability, but you're drawn to someone else. This kind of gives off that message. Or vice versa. You're drawn to someone who's already in a committed relationship. So there's a lot of leaving energy here. Somebody's walking away. So for some of you, it could be the person that's in a relationship that's coming towards you to apologize because they have no peace Maybe they're apologizing for having made a move on you while they were still in a relationship. There's embarrassment, there's shame, because I do feel that here. And there's a lot of, you know, somebody's not emotionally available. That's what I'm saying. Somebody here is in a relationship. They, they are. Or there's some sort of commitment because they feel like I can't be a part of this right now. But there's, I left, I left, I feel you leaving. Two people are, are falling apart. This much I know. Two people are falling apart. Which side it is, I don't know. But the Nine of Swords is here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of falling apart. One person feels themselves leave, being left behind. The other person is leaving. But again, remember, we've got Saturn energy. This is Neptune. So it could be that somebody here had some illusion, some fantasy, and reality, you know, Neptune and Saturn. Saturn is reality check. Somebody's getting a reality check. Now, 
in the area of your public persona. We've got the magician up there too. So you're definitely manifesting something. Or, okay, you're coming across to people, both at home and in public. You're coming across to people as like, what I want, I get it done. Even if I don't have the most favorable circumstances, because these are not favorable circumstances. You are in the area of, I may be, I may have nothing. I may look like I have nothing. But I'm changing my life. Because we've got five swords, five pinnacles. You're shifting something. Interestingly enough, with the nine of swords, you may be shifting out of a really negative mindset. If you're the one giving an apology, you might be shifting out of a... Out of a guilty conscience, out of a lack of peace, lack of sleeping. If you... If you're the one that should be receiving the apology, maybe this... This is something you're manifesting. You may be manifesting an apology. Because this is making me think the ubiquitous in your niche. Um, this word, I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly. Ubiquitous, whatever it means. Well, not whatever it means. I know what it means. It means you're everywhere. You're omnipresent. So if you're the one that needs to apologize, whatever it is, whoever it is that you need to apologize to is haunting you. And if somebody needs to apologize to you, it's haunting them. I also feel like somebody here may not be feeling too well. And spirit is saying, start exercising. Start doing, even if it's something light. Even if all you do is walk. If all you do is swim. Well, swim isn't super light, but you know what I mean. Do something, move. Create movement in your body because this is part of, if you're having trouble sleeping, that's part of the reason why. Um, and also, if you're struggling to manifest, you may be, you may need to adjust your mindset around abundance. Create a good relationship with money. Don't look at it like it's hard to obtain. Don't look at it like it is, it's an uphill battle because it's not. You are a natural manifester, Cancer. You're just really doubting yourself right now. So let's go ahead and stop part one here. We'll get into part two where we are going to look at the clarifiers. If you are interested in looking at all these areas of your life clarified, then I will see you on the other side of part two, okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.